All right, so uh, today's January 28th. It is, I got about, I'd say about an hour and a half to work on this amp today. I got my dog with me. He's going to keep me company. And uh, what I have here is, here's the layout. Here's the schematic. I have the build docs over there. And, um, you know, I did a lot of reading on the forum, and, and Steven recommended a couple mods. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and build it stock, and then any place where I can make it a little bit easier to, to change those mods in, I'm going to kind of do so, and I'm going to let you guys know as I build. So today my goal is is to get all of the hardware in. So right now I have the chassis just naked. Okay, I took off the transformer. Um, so my goal is to get the transformer back in, to get all the jacks in, the pots, the fuse um, holder, the light, everything. And then also get in the um, tube sockets, and maybe even if I have time to start wiring that up. Like I said, I got about an hour today. And then I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll be able to spend a whole day doing this. So uh, I'm going to keep my camera rolling. But you probably won't hear me because I'm trying to watch Wishful Drinking by Carrie Fisher. Here we go. Let's build the motherfucking amp. So 25 minutes total. So even filming that little bit of uh, talking in the beginning to right now, my camera is going to shut off in four minutes. I have the power transformer, the output transformer, the tube sockets installed, the power switch, the fuse holder, um, which is going to fall out without a fuse in there, on off, the jewel, and the lights, and the three potentiometers are in. So my next move is getting the ground points in, getting the EIC plug in, and the input jacks, and the um, speaker jacks. So that's where we're at, about 20 minutes in. So going to keep working, and uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so different view. I thought this might give us a little better hint at what we're working with here. Um... I'm still putting all the input jacks in and getting the ground set up. So all I'm putting in is the ground, different ground lugs, and then I'll be putting in the um, the uh, standoffs basically for the, the board, the turf board, when I get that built. And then I'm going to start wiring in the power transformer so you guys know what I'm working on here. Um, you know, I was thinking about this as I'm working on it. Kind of maybe what's the point of this video and i'm hoping that people who build pedals i mean as you can see right there and everywhere um i've loved building pedals um but i'm kind of more of an amp nut so the that amp right there and there well actually this bottom one was my first amp i ever built the top one was my third i have an allen amps behind me which was the second amp I built, and then I have an 18 water over there, um, which was the last amp I built in 2020. Um, 
So I'm kind of trying to think, like, what was the point of this video and why am I even filming this? And really, I think it comes up that, you know, I love building stuff in general, especially anything I can use. Like, the desk that that we are, I'm on and filming with, I built this desk uh, a number of years ago, designed and built it. So, um, one of the things I kind of want to show is that if you have the patience and time to sit through building a pedal and labeling it and, and or painting it like I do, um, building an amp's really not that much more challenging. Now the voltages are a lot higher and you're kind of dealing with different things, but in general it's actually pretty easy. And I know um, my first amp build, which was um, long, long time ago, I think it was in like 2008 or 9, um, I bought a Metro Amps kit when he was still doing kits, and that's what I started with, was a JTM 45, and I absolutely love that amp, and that started an addiction of building amps, and, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of, uh, it gets addicting like pedals do, so... Yeah, I think that's kind of what I'm going for with this video, is I hope people are watching it, or I hope someone watches it and sees that it's not too terribly difficult, and uh, maybe gets inspired to do it. So, since I started filming today, uh, I'm maybe 40 minutes in, and I'm not really rushing, I'm, I, I'm not a rushing kind of person in general, I'm definitely not rushing on this, um, I'm still putting in, you know, all the hardware and I'm about to get started on the wiring here, and, you know, realistically, by tomorrow, I'm going to have a brand new working amp, which is a, it's a pretty cool thing, you know? So, enough chit-chat. Let's get back to putting in some hardware. Almost all the hardware is installed except for the standoffs for the turret board, which I don't really need to put in right now until we kind of get to that part. Um, everything's going really smoothly. It's a super easy build. So there you go. Now I'm going to start wiring up the power transformer and kind of get that cooking. 